20 or 25 years ago, the leaders of, just, of China decided the only way to solve the country's huge problems of poverty was essentially to turn a big switch from off to on. Off in terms of private business development of all sort of the, uh, the dynamism of capitalism, they turned it on in basically all ways just letting things happen. Open markets, stock exchange, IPOs, leveraged buyouts, billionaires, Ferrari dealerships, private jets, all the things we would associate with just modern capitalism in its rawest form. Changes happen every day in China. Not only talking about 15 years, in one year time, yes, you will see a lot of buildings finished. They are, they are really growing rapidly. In terms of people, lifestyle, okay, there are, there are more and more people buying cars. These kind of people, they start enjoying their life. They, they're not only talking about uh, uh, whether I can, I can have a full meal or whatever. They're talking about how to enjoy their life nowadays. We have some customers, they are the farmer. They have nothing and then they work hard and then now they come to a day that they can really make for to buy a Ferrari. The growing economy of China is rapidly, is quick. China has been changing so fast. And many Westerners still perceive China as it was 20 or 30 years ago. As China's GDP grows by 10% a year, the country's appearance and people's values have changed a lot. The change is like dramatic. In some places you see like uh, a construction yard and around it a little slum and then next to it is a nice new building. The city is becoming bigger and bigger and more modern too. I mean, now you see like one tall building after the next. Chinese people have seen a lot different kind of revolutions. First the communists like against the Nationalist Party and then the Cultural Revolution. I don't think people really understand how fast things are actually moving. I woke up one morning and the bridge outside was gone. I came back the next morning and there was a new bridge in its place. We're talking, we're not talking like no wood little bridge. We're talking like a six lane road, overpass, concrete metal construction. That's how fast things in China are changing. Not just exterior, not just new buildings. We're talking like people's minds are being introduced to things that they've never seen before. They have still this curiosity in their eyes. Because everything in this culture is new. What you have is like this open-eyed appreciation. And it's starting to grow more and more and more and more as the culture slowly opens up. <laughs> Well, in 1992, when uh, Deng Xiaoping went back to uh, southern China, to Shenzhen, to basically declare that economic reform was going to continue after 1989, it precipitated this whole explosion of uh, entrepreneurial activity and also a whole sort of renaissance of, of art, music, culture. And it was out of that sort of ferment that we begin to get the possibility of a show like Win in China, which is chronicling individuals rather than social movements, uh, people exercising their own ambitions, energies, and, and hopes for the future, and making a kind of a private individual uh, uh, attempt to create new lives. <laughs>